Hi drivers, Paul Taylor here once again from Truckers Justice Center. I want to speak to you frankly about the FMCSA's latest effort to help the corporate interests in this country and stick it to the drivers. That is the personal conveyance guidance or interpretation of FMCSA's hours of service rule. There's always been some limited guidance from the FMCSA and its predecessor agencies on what constitutes personal conveyance. You know, can you take the truck on a fishing trip or can you late over a weekend bobtail to a restaurant? But what's happened recently is FMC has issued a guidance that says essentially if you run out of hours under your 14 hour clock or your 11 hour clock, at a shipper or at a receiver that you can go for what they say is in a reasonable distance, a reasonable amount of time, traveling across the country looking for a parking space. Now that may be something that initially sounds good to you, but if FMCSA is pushing it and corporate interests are in favor of it, it probably isn't good for you. And I'm going to tell you why. We have, as you all know, this 14 hour rule out there applicable to most aspects of the industry. 14 hour rule says you gotta lay down, rest for 10, or be off duty for 10 consecutive hours, essentially, after not later than the 14th hour after first going on duty. Now, FMCSA said that originally when they published the new hours of service rules after a multiple passes of political footballs, carved out with huge exceptions that they wanted to put you on a 24-hour clock. 14 on, 10 off, it gets you into a normal rotation, which sleep scientists will tell you comports with your normal circadian body rhythms or close to it. So essentially, FMCSA decided driving after the 14th hour is going to be unsafe after uh, going on duty, is going to be unsafe under most circumstances. What this rule allows is you could be, get to a receiver on time, get there say at 12 and a half hours after first going on duty, and kept around for seven, eight hours, uncompensated, and you are, if you're spent waiting, you need to be logged that as on duty, not driving. Even if it's off duty, you can't get 10 hours in that period. And then when you're all done and they delay you, they make you wait around to an open dock door because they couldn't schedule pro properly, they're gonna allow you after 20, 21, 22 hours of being awake to bobtail off, to look for parking space, which is wherever it is, nobody really knows. We know that in this country, those of us who are involved in trucking directly like you or indirectly like me, we know that parking is a problem here. So how long are they going to let you cruise around looking for parking space? The new FMCSA personal conveyance rule is not designed to make the highway safer. It makes them less safe. Now, why is also is it bad for you? So we know it's bad for the public. At least I believe it's bad for the public. Why is it bad for you? Because the FMCSA wants more flexibility. No, they want flexibility to ignore the rules. It's bad for you because when you have a 14-hour rule, it at least gives the shipper and receiver at least some incentive to get you off property or to provide parking space. Because if you're gonna be waiting outside the gate or inside the gate and they haven't gotten to you yet and they delay you and it's 14 hours is up, you know, you're sitting there giving them free time. You're giving them free time you're not compensated for. The 14 hour rule, which is not perfect, is at least some incentive to get you on and off the property, get you unloaded and gone or get you, un, uh, you know, unloaded and gone. So, I mean, this is a complete mess. It doesn't help you. It doesn't provide a disincentive for shippers and receivers to get you unloaded and comply with FMCSA regulations. So it's bad for you. 
you're going to continue to donate now even more of your time uncompensated if you're paid by the mile or paid on percentage which to me is a bad deal on top of it finally this guidance is in my opinion violative of the law it violates congress's mandate to make safer hours of service rules it conflicts with the definition of driving time driving time says all time spent at the controls of a commercial vehicle in operation which on top of that driving time is a subset of on duty time and fmcsa says you log personal conveyance and it goes on as off duty time the rules don't define off duty time this is a guidance what it really is is a rule or a decision by fmcsa to ignore congress's mandate and ignore their rules and benefit big corporations to have you donate your waiting time for free and it's unsafe in my opinion thanks for watching